What's your duck this? I quit. Story? Worked at a Spencer's Gifts for a bit during uni. I was working, and saw that I was scheduled for an evening shift the day before a morning exam, so I asked the manager if I could switch. She said no, the schedule is already made up. Went back and forth trying to negotiate with her. She ended with, you're going to have to decide what's more important, the shift or your exam. My mom's, I was studying overseas and my parents booked a trip to come out at the end of the school term, bringing along my two siblings, one who lived away from home, the other about to start college. It was a month long trip, with lots of prepaid flights, trains, hotels plus it would likely be the last big trip we all took together. Obviously, both my parents requested and secured approved PTO months in advance. It was the month of June, typical summer vacation. A couple days before the trip was to happen, my mom's boss hands her an assignment point mom hands it back, saying she can't take it on as she has a month long vacation about to start. My folks don't believe in hyperbole, but trip of a lifetime would be a fair description. Boss says, oh yay, sorry, you can't take vacation anymore. Mom says if you cancel my PTO, I quit. Boss, blank stare. Mom handed in her notice and left. We had an amazing trip. She got a new job on return. I was a truck driver working a regional route that required me working nights. So basically I would drive all through the night, deliver a load, sleep through the day, and take a load back to my original place the next night. The thing is, sleeping during the day at a warehouse where yard dogs, the guys that moved trailers around a lot of the warehouse with little tractor deals, were constantly moving shit around, knocking into my truck, and oftentimes literally waking me up to move my truck. I was barely getting any sleep and the only time I had to ever get a good night's rest was during the weekend. So driving to my first delivery, I told my manager I'm taking an extra day off because I'm exhausted and I have to get a few days of sleep. I was literally getting maybe 3-4 to four hours of solid sleep a day and energy drinks were worthless at this point. They gave me the go ahead, I dropped my delivery, slept as best as I could at the warehouse and picked up the load to take back with a message from my managers telling me to have a good weekend and rest up. When I was about an hour and half away from my destination, after driving all night for about 8 hours reaching pure exhaustion, I get a message saying never mind we need you to work this weekend. Mind you, I know this stuff happens, and you sometimes have to pick up the slack of other employees at times. Things happen, I get it, and 99% of the time I'm all for helping out other employees and my managers, if they need it. But this was about the third time this happened. I haven't had a good night's sleep in 3 weeks at this point, and I kept trying to call my managers or anyone who would answer me, but it was the weekend and no one would respond to their messages or phone calls. I was literally being ignored, and I just snapped. Luckily, the demand for truckers is massive. I mean I get texts non-stop asking if I'm in the market because a company needs drivers. I haven't even been in the industry for 2 years currently, and my phone still gets blown up with calls and texts asking if I want to drive again. So literally all I did was call one of the numbers that would contact me constantly and immediately was hired after 5 minutes of talking on the phone. Sent in a message saying I quit and good luck. Funny enough then they started responding to my messages and tried calling. Joined a call center with the obvious shady pay structure. They said the calls are inbound, so I thought hey that's not too bad then. Turns out the inbound calls were generated by their robber call system indirectly implying that they were Google, but never saying so, and we were directed to use some dubious answer if someone asked back quote are you Google? After getting yelled at and cussed out and constantly getting people who had been called many times before and were clearly irate, I just got up and left in the middle of the day. I also complained to Google that these guys were pretending to be Google and these guys were shit scared of getting complaints like that. Seriously ducked up people. I fractured my orbital socket in an industrial accident. Another employee lost focus at the wrong time, was supposed to wait for a hand signal and didn't. We had been working over 90 days straight of 13 to 14 hour shifts and living in crappy motel a 45 minute drive from out worksite. 
We were supposed to be on a rotation where we didn't work more than three weeks at a time. It was a close call and could have been at worse. I'm glad I saw it coming and had time to at least try and get out of the way. I got sent away after a night in the air while the rest of that crew continued to work. After spending two or three days at home the boss called to say that he needed me in Alaska in two days and that my flight was already booked. Told him I quit right on the spot. I worked for a group home. We had a difficult group of residents, but the company things so much worse. Every resident was 14 to 22 years old. They had moderate mental development delays. They all had a psychiatric disorder, from severe ADHD to schizophrenia, and they had also all been convicted of a violent sexual crime. I worked third shift. My normal hours were 10.30 p.m. to 9 a.m. Four days a week. About six months into working there, they did a massive layoff. They went down to bare minimum staff to student ratio each shift, with nobody extra to call in if needed. That meant if someone called out, a person on the previous shift was forced. It got to the point where I was being forced three out of four shifts per week. And not just a few hours. I was working 10.30pm to around 4.30pm the next day and still having to come in for my following shift. I had an hour commute each way. So I'd get home at 5.30pm from a 16 hour shift and have to leave the house again 4 hours later. Managed that for about a month. Then one morning I was told last minute I was being forced. Told them I was fucking done and walked out. That month took a huge toll on my mental health. Swear it took me like a year to recover. My first job was at a fast food restaurant. I only lasted about 3 months. The manager was sleazy. The employees were straight up lazy. I had to mop up one day. There was an area in the kitchen where you kinda have to lean forward so you can slide the mop under a counter. The manager decided to come out of the office and just stand behind me and watch. I looked at him and asked is there something wrong? He said no, but just wanted to make sure I cleaned correctly. Right, because there was no worry about how well I cleaned the rest of the kitchen, but now that I'm bending over there is. I immediately stopped and walked out, 